Well, I think it's going to be the same cast of characters in the West. Uh, you're going to have San Jose, uh, Vancouver, two very good teams. Uh, the Sharks made a lot of good improvements during the offseason, adding Brent Burns on defense and picking up uh, Martin Havlett. Uh, the Canucks are going to pile up a lot of points in their division. You know, they're loaded offensively again, and uh, you can't count out the Red Wings. Uh, they get older every year, but uh, they're going to be right there with the Hawks and the Canucks and the Sharks, in my opinion. And probably a, a, a real team to watch is going to be the Los Angeles Kings. They made a lot of nice improvements during the offseason, adding Mike Richards and uh, a few others. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a five-team race in the West. Well, there, there are several. I, I believe the biggest one is Sidney Crosby's health status in Pittsburgh. You know, he hasn't played since last January because of two concussions. He got, I think, four days apart. Uh, he's not going to start the season for the Penguins, and uh, it, 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 I think everybody want, would like to know if he's going to play at all this year. I, I think he's going to. Uh, the Penguins probably hope that he can play at least half the season, but I know they're not going to rush him. I, I think that's pro probably the biggest storyline going into this season. Uh, also, this is the last year of the collective bargaining agreement, so... Uh, that's something to watch down the road, but uh, we'll worry about that next summer. Well, I, I like Ivani Malkin in Pittsburgh. I think he's going to have a big bounce back season after uh, knee surgery cut him short last year. Um, you know, if Sidney Crosby doesn't play a full season, he's going to have a lot of responsibility in Pittsburgh, and I think he's going to pile up a lot of points. Um, so I, I, th I think he's my favorite for the Hart Trophy, probably right, right there with Alex Ovechkin. I think Ovechkin is going to have a, a huge year in Washington um, for the Capitals, who are you know are a Stanley Cup contender also. Well, I, I think Commissioner Gary Bettman would like to think they are, but uh, the situation in Phoenix is still. Uh, open-ended. Uh, the Coyotes are going to be in Arizona at least one more year, um, and they still don't really have an owner. So I think that's, that, that's something to, to keep watch down there, uh, that situation in uh, Arizona. But other, other than that franchise, I think everybody's pretty solid. The, the Islanders are always a, a team that you have to wonder you know, where they're headed in the future, but I, I think they're locked into Long Island for the next few years. Well, I'm a big believer in the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, with, with Sidney Crosby, I think they're hands down the best team in the league. Um, even, even without Crosby, they play such a good defensive game that uh, uh, they're my pick to come out of the East. And I'm actually picking them uh, to beat the Blackhawks in the Stanley Cup Finals. I, I think the Hawks, once, once the playoffs get here, uh, there's so many uh, competitors and winners in that dressing room, you know, led by Jonathan Taves. I think this is the year the Hawks go back to the finals and, and play the Penguins. Thanks for watching Ask the Sports Writers. I'm Tim Sassone. Would you like to talk Bears football with our sports writers? We'll even provide free wings and beer for this live Ask the Sports Writers event. Join us on Wednesday, October 12th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. at John Barleycorn, 1100 American Lane in Schaumburg. Our Q&A panel will include columnists Mike Emmerman and Barry Rosner, Bears beat writer Bob Laguerre, fantasy football columnist John Dietz, and our host for the evening, Joe Aguilar. So bring your questions and your appetite for a lively discussion on the Bears. For free tickets to this subscriber total access event, please send an email to stavents at dailyherald.com. Please include Ask the Sports Writers in the subject line. I'm Daily Herald Sports Editor Tom Quinlan, and I look forward to meeting you there on October 12th.